Today we'll be looking at a productivity feature of GeoSCADA. They are extra table queries. These are queries, SQL queries that are available from the right click menu. We, we've got here, we've got a database that's already running. So we'll just go and have a look, say, at a site. So when we right click at the moment <coughs> over here, see we don't, this is the default menu. We are going to add <coughs> queries to this. I've already prepared um, a registry file that will allow us to add them to the registry. So later on, uh, we'll explain how to generate this registry file. For the moment, we'll just import it. So after that, we import it, we have to restart the server. So uh, we're going to go and restart the server. So that's the one, we're going to stop it. And start it back up again. Okay, it's back. So now we can see that we've got these extra queries that were not there before. So this is a very helpful one. It's called, like say, an IO list. If we right click on it, it automatically generates a list of points for all the points under this uh, group. If we sort of like uh, navigate further in, we can just go and have a look, say, at this specific um, group, the miscellaneous group. We right click on it, we've got the same option, and now it generates a smaller list. So this, this is very handy. So, how do we actually generate these uh, queries from scratch? So what we do, we need to come up with the query first. That's the first thing that we have to do. So, but say, for argument's sake, we've already come up with this query, which in this case, it's a bit complicated. So one way would be to copy it from here. And then we go and insert it under configuration. So we go to configuration. Then we go to the first group and we go here, we got extra table queries. So these extra table queries were the ones that were inserted with the registry um, a merge. But if we were creating them from scratch, what we do is we go and query, then we have to configure it, so we got to tell it like which index, which order it is in, which object, so typically it's under C group. And then we give it a name. And this full name is very important because this refers to the full name of the object. So the query that I copied earlier, all right, the query over here, from here, so copy. So this one doesn't use full name. So what normally we would do, we would go say to Notepad, and wherever, say wherever the full name appears, Control F, say full name. So wherever full name appears, then we will replace it, the actual full name, we will replace it with the word dollar, full name, dollar. So, and, and I already prepared that one earlier, and that's, that's how I did them. Save. So and so this, this is essentially what I've done on these ones here. So later on, these ones can be exported from the registry and re-imported onto another system. But we have to be careful to change the system name. That's the only thing that changes. Anyway, so I don't actually need this one. 
but that's that's very effective so I've got another one here which is quite useful and that would be say if after we've replaced an RTU we are not sure whether all the values got uh, restored after uh, replacing the RTU uh, then what we can do is uh, uh, where is that? Oh, that one, RTU replacement. So if there are any, uh, what's it called, set points that they exist in there, they'll come up and, and they'll show the values. Let me look for, say, if we've got some on the side here. Hmm, that's, uh, should have picked a better site one, which uh, with set points, this one doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have set points unfortunately <laughs> but that's just a few ideas um, say for our locations our functional location count what is it for so here we got say we, we can see that we've got two functional locations one of them's got like over 3,000 instances the other only has four and we got 711 that are blank so that stuff can be very very useful so it's for stuff that you use all the time essentially this allows us to be a lot more efficient because we, we don't have to come up with these uh, queries all the time they're just available at the right click of a, of a button essentially rather than having to copy them from somewhere and then go and sort of like change the conditions it, it, and GeoSCADA will do it for us automatically.